Salary negotiations are underway between the Associated Calexico Teachers and School District. Wiley Jahari joining us with more tonight. Yeah, Calexico teachers have been protesting for a pay raise since June 9 and talks have been ongoing for nearly two years. Teachers say now is the time for action. Educators say it's been four years since they got their last raise, leaving teachers running low on patience, and they say it's important their voices be heard. We've been four years without, without a salary and with no salary increase. You notice everything is going up. I mean, the price of gasoline, the price of a gallon of milk, and our salary, we have not gotten, gotten a salary increase in the past four years. Juan Rodriguez has been a teacher for 30 years. Rodriguez also sits on the teachers' union negotiating team. He says he's fighting for more than just a higher pay. The bigger picture, attracting more quality teachers to the Valley. And and a lot of times what's, what's really sad about it is that, you know, it's a, it, here, here in Calexico, it's a, it's it's always delayed and you know like I see other districts that they settle within one one year and they and they negotiate they they're get, they're they're able to give their their employees a, a salary increase. Rodriguez hopes that Calexico's teacher salaries can be closer aligned with the educators at other local school districts. The Associated Calexico Teachers says that CUSD pays the lowest salaries in the valley. The union says its teachers earn slightly more than 46000 a year, while those at El Centro Elementary School District start around 62000 News 11 reached out to the district for comment. However, they are still in negotiations. And meanwhile, negotiations have been taking place all day between the teachers union and the district. No agreement has been reached as of right now, but we will continue to talk to teachers monitoring their progress. Reporting from Imperial, I'm Wiley Jahari. Back to you.